your unique story, our global audience. Global One Media. Hi, welcome to Global One Media. Today I'm joined by Dr. George Adams, who's the chairman of the board at Venture Point Diagnostics, listed on the TSXV and the OTCQB, uh, which is a Canada based medical device company that is engaged in the development and commercialization of diagnostic tools that monitor patients with heart disease. So hi, George, thank you for joining us today. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Thank you for having me on. It's Glad to, to have you on. So to start off, uh, could you please give us a brief overview of yourself, of the company, and tell us how it all started? Well, sure. Uh, so I'm a serial entrepreneur. This is my seventh medical device or diagnostic company. Uh, so, uh, and my previous companies have been bought by Pfizer and Boston Scientific and DuPont wow. and 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 other big companies. So this one is all about a better way to do cardiac ultrasound diagnostics for everyone everywhere and especially for children. Uh, and the especially for children part was induced by a number of top pediatric cardiologists having to deal with children who were born with a heart problem, saying we cannot put these children into an MRI machine for two hours to figure out what's wrong with their hearts. Uh, can you find a way to use conventional ultrasound, echocardiography, to analyze these children? And so we, uh, because right. it's dangerous. Um, and, uh, so we, uh, that challenge was presented to Dr. Florence Sheehan in the University of Washington in Seattle. And she worked diligently for about three or four years and figured out a way to do it using artificial intelligence and a special kind of called knowledge-based reconstruction. And we have, the company has taken that out of the university, we license, worldwide license to it. We've added new techno more technology onto it. We've added features onto it and everything and have built a product which gives you equivalent results to an MRI using conventional 2D ultrasound in five minutes. Excellent. So, uh, George, tell us more about your unique company story and, and tell us what difference you make uh, uh, in the patient's lives. Right. So the first difference we make is you don't have to go into an MRI every three months and be traumatized. Uh, you know, this is this product is welcomed by the parents by the patient and by the doctor because right. the last you know doctor does not want to traumatize a patient in their first six or nine 12 months of life because they're going to have that patient for the rest of their life if you're born with a congenital heart problem it's almost always the right side of the heart so you have to understand there's you know there's a right side and a left side of the heart the right side pumps blood through your lungs still mm -hmm. to the left side the left side pumps it through to the rest of your body and then back to the right side so if you have problems with your right side, you have heart disease. If you have problems with your left side, left side, you also have heart disease. So right. it turns out that if you have a problem with the left side of your heart, you don't get born. So all the people, children who get who are born with a heart problem have mm -hmm. right side problems. And they now grow up, you know, there's therapies for, you know, and they have multiple surgeries until they're into their early 20s. Okay. But they live to have a normal life and span 50, 60, 70 years old. So, but they continue to have problems and they have to be monitored their whole life from when they were born right to, and, and so, and it's not, you have to monitor the right side of the heart. And so it's the only way you can get good information about the right side of the heart is an MRI, mm -hmm. uh, except for our technique. So we provide the information well, for all four chambers of the heart, but really uniquely for the right side of the heart. And that's, you know, so, it, and, and so that's why, you know, what our reason for being is to provide the patients with routine assessments of their hearts now and, and to say, okay, your heart's getting worse, 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 worse. Now it's time to go in and fix it, have surgery, right. do it, replace the pulmonary valve, replace the tricuspid valve, you know, you know, do something to it. Okay. Now watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, now it's the right time to do it do the next step in the repair or the maintenance of the heart. So, uh, and that's hard to do with it. You know, it's impossible to do with MRI. It's too expensive and nobody wants to go in it every three to six months. Uh, but you really need to follow these patients, even the adult patients every three to six months because bad things can happen very quickly. Right. And of course, COVID has 
because it causes all sorts of lung problems. Mm -hmm. Again, the right heart has to try and push the blood through this congested lung. So people who have you know, problems with their heart to start with have now gotten much more problems with the heart if they get COVID. So you have long COVID where you're looking at you know, very large numbers of people who now have right heart problems because they got COVID. So. Excellent. And uh, George, th those products are, are absolutely solving real problems for, for patients and hospitals. So how close are you to uh, commercialization? We're in full commercial mode. Uh, we have distributors in Europe and the UK, and we're about to sign on 10 distributors for the United States, regional distributors. So by very soon, we'll have 30 representatives calling on doctors uh, in U in Canada, the US and Europe. So it's a process, you know, you have to get the top doctors using it and telling their other doctors, this is works, you should get one too. And then they refer us and we go and talk to the whole cardiology group at the next hospital. And they say, oh, this works for us. We'll, we'll buy a few of those too. So it's, you know, that's the process we're in right now. We're getting, you know, viral referrals from people who use it and love it. And, and so we're working. So we'll have 30 people going around, you know, demonstrating the product to um, leading, you know, to cardiologists, leading cardiologists, and then the next year down and the next year down. And that's how you bring a new technology into the market. Very interesting. Um, and also we read that uh, VenturePoint is currently assisting in planning and monitoring 15 uh, investigator initiated clinical studies uh, where your diagnostics are being used. Can you tell us more about those studies and the progress? That's a fantastic. I mean, it's just an indication that the cardiology community needs what we get, we're providing. So yes. what they want. So every, you know, the top cardiologist in the world who works on single ventricle patients or something like that came to us and said, I need this information. I'll run a clinical trial. I'll pay for it. My hospital will pay for it. I'll even, you know, buy the machine, you know, I, I believe. And I'm going to make this the standard of care because right now the standard of care isn't adequate. So those, so so we have 15 studies going on in all sorts of kinds of different kinds of congenital heart disease, uh, um, pulmonary hypertension, uh, you know, uh, COPD, um, other kinds of heart failure, and they're all being paid for. About four and a half million dollars of research being paid for by wow. by the investigators and the hospitals. And that's all to prove, change the standard of care to say, you know, to prove to their fellow cardiologists, this mm -hmm. is what you should be doing. I mean, these are all the top guys in each patient subgroup saying, this is a better way and I'm going to prove it to you. So that's what they're doing. And so it's coming along nicely. Pa papers are starting to come out now. Yeah. Um, uh, on one, you know, and we have a big study going on in pregnancy, of course, you know, in the last trimester of a pregnancy, the heart has to pump 50 to 60% more blood. And so if your heart mm -hmm. struggles normally, this is a big problem. So you end mm -hmm. up with a high risk pregnancy. So there's about 23% uh, of women have a cardiovascular problem during pregnancy. So it's, it's, uh, and there's really nothing known about even a normal heart during pregnancy, let alone somebody with a weak heart. And so this is going to be a landmark study done by the Mazankowski Heart Institute in Edmonton okay. about what happens to a mother's heart during pregnancy. So those kinds of things are what we've done. Excellent. That's very interesting. Um, and also uh, from a business standpoint, uh, what markets are you currently catering to and what markets do you plan to expand to and what makes those markets attractive? Right, so we're really focused on right side disease right now. And so we're in the United States, Canada, and Europe. Mm -hmm. We've attended uh, 11 conferences this year. We have uh, a full sales funnel. We now have 10 sales representatives working their way through all of those um, doctors at conferences that say, you must, you must come and tell all, uh, this is amazing. You must come to my hospital and do some patients for me and let my all my colleagues see how wonderful this is. And then we'll buy one or two or three. Uh, so we're in that process. And I'm mm -hmm. saying we've had, you know, a tremendous uptake there. Uh, and so uh, we are looking at expanding into Latin America. I was in Brazil a couple of weeks ago and met with the top cardiologists in Brazil. Again, they, they've now come up with 10 more projects, 10 more wow. population they want to do uh, to get started we uh, and we have to get the product approved by the brazilian government but once you get in brazil you can do pretty much the rest of mm -hmm. latin america 
America. It just you know. so yeah, opening up that uh, we're looking at India, the Middle East, have people who are interested in representing us there. We have a joint venture going on in China. It's kind of shut down because mm-hmm. everything shut down in China. So that, but when they when COVID kind of allows them to start moving around again, they'll they'll get back into selling their product in China. So yes, we. But it looks like Latin America will be the next market we will open. Fantastic, George. Uh, thanks a lot for all the information and for your time today. And uh, we look forward to seeing the next updates and developments from Venture Point Diagnostics. Okay. Thank you very much for having me. Be safe. Thank you.